I think that most people, they are already awaiting some of these um, new things that are coming with 5G. And there are other things that we still have to learn, right? I'm, for example, driverless cars. Um, it's very hard for me also to leave the wheel and let the car doing the job. But I think that we learn very quickly as a society what we have to do there. There's another thing as a society that we have to do is teaching the young students how to build up the technology of tomorrow. Because what we have now is a picture of 5G, what will be there in 2020, 2025. But we have also to train the next generation building up better things that we can imagine even now. 5G as a technology will come. The, um, the question is what we can do with that. There are many ideas and I think in the industry it will come very quickly because this is an isolated environment. But, and it will also span then to our homes and to our cars. And this is really the last stage where we really have connected cars going without drivers on the highway. That will be a huge relief because there will be so less um, accidents. And if you think about CO2 em emissions, they also will be reduced dramatically by that. I think for the cars, there will be places where we still try it out. I think even on the highway, you can still do it because the other cars will react to what you are doing. Um, but of course now the problem might be, is there somebody else watching me what I'm doing, right? This is something as a society which is new and that we have to discuss, is this a value to have this and live with, for example, thousands of less dead people on the street? Or is this something that we really want to give the freedom in, in driving? And in the beginning it will be still like this, that there are some streets um, where you can still drive alone and others where the automatic driving is already in place.